So before this video starts, I'm just going to assume that you know the basics of chain lights because if you don't, then um, yeah, uh, you won't understand all the stuff that I say in there. So links in the description if you don't and watch those first, then come back to here. Um, another thing is I was messing about in Photoshop and I made a, a knockoff Supreme design that says lunch pot on it. So uh, if you're interested, link in the description. Just want to see how it does, you know. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helps you out. How's it going, bros? Um... Me here, yeah, right? So, uh, a bunch of people have been like, Yo, uh, link to this. Uh, 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 uh. They're like, How do you do chain light? So, I thought, This isn't gonna be like, This isn't what I thought, but this isn't gonna be like some badass, uh, broken down, cons well constructed, edited stuff. I'm just gonna go over one trick, one main trick that I use, and uh, yeah, it's the main way that I make chain lights. So, I've loaded up a um a project template, right? And we're gonna start with the media effect rack. And we're gonna drag that into the page that we're using, in this case in this case, uh page one. So I have dragged it into page one, right? And we're gonna use the bottom left button for example. So hold that down. If it lets you. So doesn't wanna let me. I'll be right back, my launch pad's not on. Great. <laughs> Okay, so right, we're going let's try that again. So, bottom left button, double click the uh, the green bar, so you have that chain, that chain selected, yeah, yeah, you got that chain, you got it, you got it, good, right. So, um, oh yeah, one other thing, before we get into this, uh, Nook did teach me this stuff, so I'm gonna link him, and the big rainbow, woo, rainbow effect thing, uh, I can't teach you that because I didn't make it, Nook made it, so I don't wanna release something if I'm not allowed, I'm just gonna go over what I know, uh, what I know that I can show. So, yeah. So anyway, back to the effect rack. So we have an effect rack here. Obviously, I just said that. We're gonna drag an arpeggiator in front of the effect rack, and we're gonna set it to hold. Uh, always set the arpeggiators to hold, because um, otherwise you let go and the light effect stops, which obviously you don't want. Leave the rate as it is until after the light effect. That's something I recommend. Change repeats to one. Change distance to one. Change steps to the amount of steps you're doing. So we're gonna go, uh, I don't know, up, right, left, right? So up, right, left. Uh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Uh, so that's one, two, three. That's three steps. So three steps. And then we're gonna go over to the effect rack. And we're going to drag in a pitch. And each step in here represents, let's, say, let's call it a frame. Because that's, I, I just think of it as animating, even though it's nothing like animating. But I think of it as animating because it, it's easier to explain. So we're going to drag it onto frame 1. So you tap, tap it, double click the thing. Sometimes this is really annoying. But make sure you get it on the first light that, that you've assigned the button to. So in this case, this light. That's why I recommend a low rate because you want to get it on. You'll notice that these red, these red uh, notes are going to go uh, three times to the right. Well, four, but you, you know what I mean. It starts that. I'm not, I don't count the first. <clears throat> so three. Um, so that represents all all the frames in this. So we're gonna duplicate and move move the green bar with the arrow key to the right one frame. So what that does though is it moves the pitch up by itself by one. So you need to bear in mind that the pitch is now gonna go to the right. That always happens, and if you moved it backwards, it would go minus one. Um, but that's why we have a pitch here. So we want it to go up. So it's already gone one. So remember that pitches go one, two, three. So one, two, three. I, I had that my finger wrong, but it started there. So one, two, three. So the pitch is on three, so it should go up one. There you go. Um, we're going to make it go right now. Obviously, it already has a pitch going right, so it's going to go right. Oh, right. Um, and then we're going to go left. So, duplicate, frame forward, minus two to the pitch. So now it's pitch one, right, left. So you can see, you can see that, that, that you can use that to make loads of different patterns, right, uh, to the light effect. Um, so what we're going to focus on, uh, or what I'm going to show you next, um, is that you can use the other effect racks. Or well, not effect right. You can use the other MIDI effects inside of this 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 pattern to you know make make a um make more complex lights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete the last two frames 
change the first chain to zero. So now it's going to go right one. Um, also remember, we can change the rate to make it faster. But I'd said to wait till you finish the light first. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it go, each frame is going to shoot up. So what we can do, this is my example, is drag an arpeggiator after the pitch, set it to hold again. Now, if you're going to have more than one arpeggiator and you want them to be the same rate, instead of dragging them all, you can right click and go to macro one. And what that will do is when you change this, it will change the arpeggiator there. So I'm going to change it to about 64 because that's like a, it's like a medium number. So um, now we want it to go up seven. Um, so it's going to go, the steps are going to be seven. So this is going to go up seven. A distance is the direction. So say if we wanted it, well, we want it to go up. So distance is one, two, three, four. Now it's one up. So distance four. And you'll see now that one shoots, but it's doing it infinitely because repeats is on infinite. So we're going to change that to one. So now when we press it, that one shoots up, but the other one doesn't. But you know, we want the other one too as well. So I'm just going to, you can paste, paste this one in because I'm lazy and can't be asked to, you, you, get, you get it, right? So what we can do, that's an example of adding in app pages. You can do this with chords, uh, note lengths, uh, velocity, but you can have a red and then a blue, for example. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is, I, I've just done the arpeggiator thing. So, um, synced rate, uh, that, that's both the arpeggiators, the speed of those. So we can change the rate of how fast it's going to go to the right, and how fast it's going to go up, so I can change that to all the way. So that one's, oh. oh wait, so bear in mind, I didn't change the second one, I didn't map the second one to the synced rate, but now I've done that, so they're both the same speed. So that's the main thing that I want to show you guys. So uh, I hope this is useful. Um, drop us a like. This video is not going to do good because there's no there's no uh, popular song artist in the title. A A, I I. All right, but yeah, I was useful. See you later.